Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2, everybody. Sisters of Battle. The Valkyries join us today. Rocking the paths for uh, three of four this time. Of course, the Ravager Hellion up front. Also benefiting from On Guard. We want to take her to a hospital soon, though, to get rid of that head injury. Along with the Hero Shrines. Of course, uh, she's going to be a little less effective with her current kit, given that her bleed piercing is pretty low, and she can't even use it if it bleeds from this position. In fact, I should probably go ahead and just give her Yop. But, uh, yeah, need to make a lot of progress there. Same with the Vestal here is, of course, without Mace Bash and uh, Consecration of Light, her effectiveness is kind of reduced up front. So hopefully see a whole bunch of Hero Shrines on this one, as we could actually use one for the Grave Robber, too, for Glint in the Dark, and heck, even the Plague Doctor could use them. So that is certainly the top priority today. Priority. Let's go get it done. This will, of course, be our second attempt at Chapter 3. Really hoping we can merge Forward or now. fare a little better today. Into the crumbling chaos of the world. But to be honest with you, I don't know if the bar for performance there could go any lower. That might have been the worst it. possible outcome. Change in the air. So I'm optimistic. I think we'll be able to improve things see, today. Even your valley is not immune. To the spreading stain. Yeah, I suppose this will be our first time uh, after having unlocked the flagellant that we uh, leave him on the bench. So no chance for the uh, no chance for the death encounter today either. Unfortunately, we're definitely gonna have to wait at least till next run for that. I'm hopeful that we'll be able to at least see it once prior to my uh, vacation. FYI, for those that may not be aware, uh, I'm gonna be gone for a little bit, but YouTube VOD should still be uh, getting up and what am I trying to say? You'll have you'll have consistent YouTube content over the next week or so while I'm while I'm away, so it shouldn't be too noticeable. But uh, anyway, yeah. We're trying to get through to chapter Push five. To Rest and resupply await you. Prior to that, and then of course I would love to see the death encounter properly. Uh before that as well. Outside of the hero shrine context. Managed to beat denial in the second attempt. I was kind of ama amazed how much you snowball against that boss once you take out one of the locks. Oh yeah, big time. Lower your guard. Soften your gaze. It is safe here. Which is why my, you know, typical approach doesn't bode so well. Everywhere in ruin. Everywhere in need. It's been a lot of fun resetting the profile uh, and having candles be so significant again. Although it made me realize, I think I'd rather they... Uh... The farms and fields of our kingdom... Hmm. Overrun with putrescence. Actually, hold on. Rot. No, I think I'm changing my mind here. I, I think the candles persuaded me. Uh, it's making me realize I, I, I hope that they have Planning changed it. Mindfulness, as vital to survival as sharpened steel. It, so that uh, candles show up a little less often when you're uh, done upgrading everything, especially if you've like already gotten all the cosmetic stuff. It'd be nice to you know have a little more focus on the mastery of the other rewards at that point. Still need to unlock some more pet options as well here. I think I might go with another uh, Chubbs run. Just get that additional positive relationship chance. That's always pretty nice. And let's see here. Of course, we got a huge boost in the form of these uh, trinkets and in items this time. We're going to get a nice relationship bonus out of the gate with the Songbook of Touching Dirges. Also got apples and cheese, which is exciting. Probably don't need to buy. No, I guess I could. I might as well prepare properly. Comfort. On the road to damnation. We might take on the early boss fight here, so probably worth it. I think I'll pass on the rest of this stuff. Oh, wow. I didn't realize this about food barrels. If you have over or 10 or more food in your inventory, you get a plus 10% bonus to resolute chance with this stagecoach item equipped. That's pretty neat. Is it still Radiant Flame 1 or does it change depending on confession? Apparently Radiant Flame 2. I wonder... If that's based... Well, clearly it's not based on the confession you're up against because this is confession three. That must just be, like, progressing. Oh, I bet it's because I died. And then it leveled up, right? That's probably what it is. Hey, uranium. Uh, let's get some laudanum. 
And then, let's see here. Go ahead and throw the wolf cub in there. <laughs> Chubes. Let's draw our stagecoach name real quick. Ah, oh, that's a great one. Scooty Boober. Be our stagecoach for the day. Learn what can be taught. That you may stand just a little taller at the end. Kind of tempted to go with the Dead of Night here. Since we're trying to rock our repartee jinx grave robber. I think I'll do exactly that. And I can't remember... I always forget whether or not the Jinx is activated off a can, dodge. Or wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. I suppose I'm willing to experiment on it to find out. Here we go. Outstanding start. Let's see here. Gain on DOT resist. Heal 20%. There's no trade-off to this, so it does seem worthwhile to go ahead and just slap that on her. And Cleansing Clasp. If we have more than 25 baubles in the inventory, we remove a negative token on turn start, which is pretty outstanding, actually. Ooh, the Pristine Lore. I should put this on the Grave Robber. That's probably not a bad idea. Get the Jinx going early. Okay. And then let's go with... Kind of like this on her as well. Try to get a relationship going, I think, between like the Hellion and the Grave Robber here. That seems like a good idea. Let's invest in that early. Get him some uh, token bonuses early on as well. Ah, head injury, son of a gun. Ah, that's unfortunate. She get or she got vicious out of that. That's not bad. Honestly, it's kind of a trade I'll take. Not resolute here, but she is. God dang it. Early bonus prevention. Random ally on turn start. Block token, sure. Oh, hold on. She is going to be first in turn order a lot, so we'll probably just want to give this to her. Yeah, let's see. Apply a vulnerable on hit. Give that to the Plague Doctor, along with the Adrenalizing Ash. And I think after we feed him, that's going to call it good. Okay. Trout time. Valkyries. Ooh, we got a gamma check. Mod check, mod check. Propriety floats listless on the tide. Oh, nice. Brined in noxious degradation. Knocked out a hero goal right away. That's always good to see. No early shrine here, sadly, but we did get one a little bit later. To sort of force our hand to go left. We wanted to visit a creature den for a bonus four candles here as well. Also need to pay attention for opportunities to use medicinal herbs and smoke bombs, although that is only one bonus candle, so it's not that big of a deal. This is a very, very early Leviathan. It's a terrible idea. Definitely not going to do that. Let me go ahead for the Watchtower, see if I can't find another uh, hero shrine. No, not even, not even bears that silly. Today. Well... This morning, I guess I should be more specific. We still got two runs to go. There's plenty of time left to pursue the content. Right now, we honestly kind of need to pursue the W more than anything. Time is very quickly running out. There's the back-to-back -back hero shrine. That's pretty nice. Push forward. Lamentably... There is no other choice. Vintage collection. I think this is a chance to get the wine? Or not the wine, the blood. Um, 
Mm, but they don't want to go Creature Den. We do get bonus four candles for visiting a Creature Den. Creature Den's obviously pretty valuable. We get to keep our hazard, or we get to keep our armor if we go right. Yeah. Decidedly inconvenient. At least we know what's coming. Yeah, that's the way to go. Hey, Daniel, welcome. Yeah, candles are definitely the biggest priority right now. Still got to make sure that's at the uh, top of the list for us. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. I'm kind of feeling like play grenade was maybe the way to go. With the early upgrade. Imp Decimus. I think of the three months. Poison dart as well, to be honest. Might have been a better option. We'll definitely go for those two next in. I like being able to do the Dead of Night repartee, especially and vexation. for the uh, stress healing that provides. But Oh, look, the dodge actually did... Or sorry, the miss triggered the combo off of Jinx. So that makes me think it's pretty likely that a dodge would do the same. So that's good. That bodes well. Calibric! Thank you for the Prime! Welcome the new sub in, please. Thank you very much for the subscription. Bear hugs, please. Yeah, I think, uh... I think that's gonna work. Jinx says it triggers when they get attacked. Okay, yeah, sick. That's gonna work really, really well for her, then. I think they'll take ear hugs too. Yeah, I don't know what those are, but they'll we probably the be happy flame, to get them. Burning brightly for all the world to see. There's our obligatory dead ringer for the run. First battle, easy peasy, dude. All right, let's see if we can handle this creature den well enough. You're gonna be uh, in danger of a repair battle here. In fact, it seems like it's. Pretty much going to be forced if I end up going that way. Let's do this. Pull these mongrels. Okay. Ounce seems good. Cooperation is the key. Try to stop this uh, bleed from getting out of hand early. Definitely want to repartee as quickly as possible here. Hand of Light, an excellent dodge clear. Who are we going to kill? I guess he'll be easiest. A couple of pristine lures there, though. Man, yeah, that trinket is going to uh, very quickly enable this, as you can see. That's working just fine. Ooh, not the not the hits we're looking for off of the poison dart, sadly. Rabies, not so bad. Could be worse. He's almost dead. There we go. Oh, that is beautiful. The bear hugger! Gotta get him the bear hugs. Thank you for the 15 months. Welcome on back in. Appreciate it. Boom! Promising development. I think we just yop again. Ah, oh, no, we can just detail the tell. Yeah, that's good. Haste and carelessness. All marks of the unprepared. And we do that. Generate a taunt again. Very nice. I think, uh... I guess we could just do this. I'm getting lucky on the blight. Hmm. I want to just yop again. An opportunity squandered. You know, we're taunting here. She is stealth at the moment, though, so I don't think she can actually even be targeted at all. So this will work. And then illumination? All right. Clear two at least that time, and then get them started up front. Yeah, these guys are just... Not the kind of team we're well designed to fight right now, unfortunately. 
There's that at least, so we can get a few tokens going their way. <coughs> Still gonna be pretty difficult to get through, unfortunately. There we go. Boy, yeah, that dodge. What a mess. Two down. Two down after five rounds. Good lord. This is, uh... This, this is tedious. This is concerning, actually. This is making me feel like we don't have nearly enough damage on this team. Incremental. But deadly all the same. I don't have toe-to-toe -to -toe upgraded here either, so obviously that's going to cause further issues with our winded hellion. He's flame blind at least, okay. Finally got a blight to land, good lord. There we go, okay. Doing fine now. Hey, thank you, Boneless. I'm very excited to get back into Dave the Diver once they're uh, a little further along in development. In fact, I'll probably just wait for the 1.0 on that game, but I'm definitely excited to play that. More taunt. The slow suffering begins. God, I wish I had lunge now, too, so we could uh, get the Plague Doctor back in position to help her out here. Angel of Iron. That's extremely generous. Three months of gifted subscription. Enjoy Boneless and get him some bear hugs, please. Thanks for that. Yeah, definitely got to move her back, unfortunately, so we can get a Battlefield Medicine going there. Bear Optimal, baby. Absinthe? Just over the threshold. That's that's a bummer. A righteous action. I do feel like I got to do that. Convenient. I mean, this is going well, it's just that it's very slow. Almost slow enough to be concerning. But it's... that it, we're, we're getting there, you know? We're holding up traffic behind us. But if we can just ignore that... If we can just sit oblivious to it and... Cheerily make our way to the finish line, I'm sure we'll be fine. Right, dubs to God. And vexation. But the prime sub, they've got the belief. A calculated generosity. But a welcome one nonetheless. Give him some bear hugs, please. Thank you for the subscription. Appreciate it. Bonk. There's a lot, a lot of dodge here for sure. So I suppose this is kind of an anomaly too. Yeah, that, that Mace Bash is going to help a lot, too. I mean, obviously, we got our party shuffled around a lot here. We'll get there, man. A lesson taught is a lesson learned. Fix her up real quick. This wound, at least, has been tended to. Let's go for the Consecration up front, actually. Might even consider upgrading that. Probably worthwhile. All right, Repertate time. Hold on a second. This has limited uses now. Oh, my goodness. It probably won't matter that much, but that's a big change. That used to be unlimited use. It's going to make my Repartee... Uh, Grave Robber Dodge, a little more, a little more precious. I don't think it's always been limited. Maybe that was changed and I didn't notice. You're only going to consume three corpses at most in a fight outside the outside the creature dens. That's a good point, actually. I didn't really think about that. So maybe it has always been limited, and I just never noticed. 
Either way, I guess it's really not going to make a huge difference. Yeah. All right. Round 13, everybody. Give it up for round 13. Mastery point? I'm begging you. An unexpected find. Appreciate it. All right. That, that was worth. That was worth it. Pretty good loot. And we're heading left. Brace up. There is danger on this path. 13 rounds. 13 rounds later. There we go. That was... I nearly missed my moment. No flagell in his bear turned against his one true savior. I'm trying to mix it up a little bit, you know? By which I mean I'm forcing myself not to choose him for a single run and then immediately going right back to him. We seek glory in the jaws of death. This is accurate. All right, a little more blight this time, maybe. Nope. Minimum damage. That's the yeah, and you'll like it. You'll say thank you, sir. Can I have some more? Here you go. That's all yours. No blight, though. You don't get to have any of that. Please die. Whoa. Yeah, I play grenade. I'll do it, I guess. Chop him up. Hmm. Yeah. Not one at least. Okay. She does have the play grenade coming. This might be enough. There we go. Two down. Get a pip out of it. A promising development. That's the stuff. Definitely time to taunt, though. I got to kill this guy first as well. Because I believe they're limited to hitting either the front two ranks or the back two ranks, depending on where they are. Hey, Gira. You're... An opportunity. Squandered. Rocking the Valkyries today. One of which is kind of in danger. Mm, oh, well, now we need to kill this one, don't we? Darn it. Oh, hold on a second. Was that dealing more damage because she's further back in the ranks? Proves damage and crit ranges the skills at the expense of melee. I swear that was a higher amount of expected damage that time than it had been before. Three to eight, right? It's two to six now. Oh, she had a strength token. Didn't see, thank you. It's usually just that simple. All right, well, that went better. It was much easier, so it should, but I'll take it. Pleasant in the extreme. This work is noble uh, and necessary. I guess that's not bad right now. Oh, I've lotted them too, right? There you go. There you go. Hit it. Consider all variables, but do it quickly. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a repair fight coming up, unfortunately, at the. or near the end of this area, but I think it's worth it for the back to back hero shrines. They would slip beneath the brackish waters and be reborn in the image of their aquatic demiurge. Hey, Brutal, welcome. All right, so probably probably the plague no vestal half remembered horrors of their past got to be vestal yeah we got to get got to get to that mace bash he called me faithless me chapter 2 a momentary lapse She was a paragon of duty and virtue, 
But reminders of her deprivation were everywhere. Surely she deserved some indulgence for her labors. Y'all ready to satisfy some curiosities? This is when we get bonk, right? Because it's it's so incredibly appropriate. Oh, I'm back now. The flame roars. Collect kindling. So far, so good, Gamal. Uh oh. Is something happening in the courtyard? Ah. A couple alone in the garden. Whatever could they be doing? Certainly nothing scandalous. Uh-oh. Kindle that flame. Gotta let that one go. There we go. All right. Get this. My arms burn hotter than the flame itself. I'll satisfy a second curiosity. We're so close to each other. They didn't even leave room for Jesus. And we all know how much he loves to cuddle. Third curiosity. His hands, her lips. Divine! Immersed in her reverie, she started violently at the piercing admonitions of the furious abbot. Bonk. Man, that was one of the most American things you could have said. I can do better than that. Uh. Chevy pickup. Uh. Coors Light. America. Monster truck. Uh. Nah, that's it. That's all I got. Republicanism. There we go. Oh, guns! I forgot. The most important and defining feature. Freedom! Also that. There we go. That's that's the that's the button. He struggles to decide what is real. Holding back fits of laughter. Yeah, let's write a country Tears. song together, everybody. Ready? Literally, all you have to do is contribute a one or two word American phrase to the chat. So, like, it goes Blue jeans, monster truck, jumping eagles, freedom. Honky tonk, root beer, tractors, and guns. Chicken and waffles, cheeseburger, bald eagle. Dash America for you. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. And me. Everybody loves flapjacks. Yeehaw. Flapjacks, pouch a lot, lot of numb and hope glimmers. That's my darkest dungeon, too. Bear Taffy's new album, Singing Things He Sees, out now. The Loathing Festers. Hey, Black One, how you doing? Do you play a guitar or a banjo to this? Yes. And a fiddle, all at once. You got it. Hmm. So we got the Mace Bash. Obviously, she's a lot better off up front now as a result of that.
Let's try to get closer to Howling End, I guess. I think we might get Glint in the Dark immediately after we do this one, though, so that might be worthwhile. Each instrument gets a three-minute solo, yeah. Chapter three. Embarrassment of riches. Dueling Bear Joes plus, plus four. Well played. Years of decadence and financial mismanagement had left the estate in staggering debt. Humiliated and facing eviction, she wandered the empty holes, hurling inebriated indignities at the portrait of the deceased whose hand had rested so possessively upon her shoulder. A gleam of gold on that painted paw reminded her that his rings were unaccounted for and must have been buried with him. And a jaw harp. Yeah, there you go. One of those washboards. Do you, do you have like, do you just play that with their nails? Usually? Or do you have like a little guitar pick or something? That's a weird one. Burn salve. Got the lunge unlocked for the grave robber now. A spoon. And I not realized. All right, repair fight time. Nice progress on the skills there, though. Rant, rant. How does this keep you happening? This onslaught short-handed. How many cannons do you guys have? The answer is too many. Oh my god, we can't blight at all. I got a repair on the grave robber here too. Hmm, handle light. Boy, oh boy. That's a move back for the cannon? I did not know that. Okay, that sucks. Um, yeah. Can't tell if that's better. Have the person with Don't Leave Me get it. Finally got a Blight again. Very nice. Pop another Glimmer here. See if we can get a Blight started on this dude. Here we go. A promising development. All right. Apparently, he doesn't give a damn about the taunt. Later on, Zen. Get a Jinx off that, at least. Okay, applies a combo. Still quite a bit of uh, stress from that, though. There's a repair. Two down, at least. Let's see if we can maybe get a Consecration or something. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Not any target for her. Another glimmer. Heal her up real quick. A little help, impeccably timed. All right, all right. This is gonna take a while again, especially given that we can't blight this thing, but should be okay. Very happy to have Laudanum here too. Boy, yeah, this is uh, this is gonna take a minute. Goodness. Block plus all day long, and then... Well, let's not waste that. Give her a strength and mace bash, at least. Which I think can actually go through the block. So that would be nice. Taunt isn't really going to matter. Let's go ahead and laudanum her again. Yeah, this is... Uh, Coming very quickly concerning here. I think actually that's got to be the play considering the lack of blight possibility here. We're making some progress. We are going to have two more block pluses here though. Almost. Almost. Thrown dagger, I believe, is slightly more damage. Minimum hit, unfortunately. Ah. 
All right. Hold fast. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. Apparently only hits the front ranks with the uh with the boom from the front. I guess that makes sense. Give her a little love. Probably need to heal a little bit more too actually, yeah. Well, yeah, I think she can do it since she's not really dealing any damage. Boy, that meltdown's looking really likely, unfortunately. Might be able to kill it prior to that, but... We'll see, I guess. Two damage. I think we're just gonna... Nope. Wow. That sucks. Oh, man. Wow, that is, that is pretty awful. The repair is going to stop it. There's the meltdown. Boy, that was a rough repair fight. Terrified. All right. So be it. Persistence will overcome even the greatest of threats. Damn, dude. Punished. The timbers creak, the wheels groan, but we press on nonetheless. Worth it long term for the hero shrines? Yeah, I don't disagree. Those benefits will help a lot for sure. Alright, see if we can hopefully avoid a second meltdown here. Do I need to heal already? Nah. Especially with the two dodges, she should be fine. Definitely going for the Iron Swan here. Candles and upgrades. Yeah, candles and hero shrines, definitely the biggest priorities. And we are finding those, thankfully. They get the uh, region gold bonus here as well, so that's nice. Plus four from that. All right. All right. Still got the still got the vulnerable back there, although. God dang, this taunt, man. And the region's just going to completely negate that. The enemy has been very frustrating so far in this in this run. Really, the game has been very frustrating so far in this run. It is presenting me with very difficult scenarios for our team to deal with. And also just ignoring all of our 50-50 shots at success, it seems. But that'll happen. couple of free crits for the enemy too. Yeah, why not? Sounds like fun to me. Heaven forbid Darkest Dungeon be frustrating, yeah. This wound at least has been tended to. What a shock. Let's see. I think we could probably go ahead and bash here. Boy, I mean, I, I did like this regen change, but now I'm not so sure. I don't know how I'm feeling anymore. Definitely looking to get Adrenaline Rush soon on her. Fair enough. Doomsayer. Oh my god. Tough sledding so far today, man. Not a good time. Let's at least try to take her out. And just basically beg and plead with the game to not continue to frick me like this. That'll help. We definitely need... Some eight up front still, though, and this taunt situation. Good 
god. No, this is absolutely like... This is one of those moments that feels like, let's see how far we can push him. Let's, let's, let's see how many of his buttons we can push all at the same time. And he won't just freak the fuck out about it. You're getting close, game. Nearly there. You're finding the ways. Only one taunt that time. This moron isn't using the flagellant. Let's get him, yeah. My bad. Alright, that'll help a lot. Let's hopefully get this play grenade on him as well. This is the big thing right now for sure, is the fact that I haven't been able to find a way to get to the altar. That should do it though. Now it's all about trying to prevent this uh meltdown here. Let's not let the mace bash be weakened either. Okay. Good stuff. Not gonna regen himself, thankfully. Not gonna regen anybody, actually, which is very nice. Here we go. See if we can maybe get the uh, light to outpace the... Nope. Nope, nope, nope. That's alright. It's still going pretty well. It does indeed go through the block. That's fantastic. There we go. Okay. Much better. Weaken up front. Still critting, but... Steady yourself. Much less effective that time. Does sadly trigger the meltdown. Goodness, man. Alright, that's not so bad of a negative quirk, at least. Darkly curious we can live with. A little pip there at the end. That's nice. Regen heals I don't think are capable of critting brutally. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. Although now I feel like I might be wrong about that. I don't think they can. Super bleed resist from the uh, couple of trinkets we just picked up, actually. Interesting consideration, but if we just go ahead and hit the end here. Haggard. Tired eyed. All are welcome here. I once had a repair fight against the antiquarian that shattered the will of my highwayman. Yeah, man, that's a. Uh, recovery road from there is looking pretty dicey. The roaring heart does much for the weary body, even more, perhaps, for the restless soul. Not bad. That's just a Twitch thing equation. It should have fixed itself soon. All right, pretty good result with the mastery points there. Rain, fire, and rot. Is there no sanctuary from this madness? That's got to be a sluice. Which means we definitely need to repair the, the stagecoach. Leagues away. Plan accordingly. We got our pancakes. A smoother ride. For a time at least. Ooh, double songbook. That's awesome. Something to ease the rigors of the road. And triple pipe weed. And the whiskey flasks. That ought to help a lot. Let's get it going. Unless he said it ought to. I mean, that's still pretty good. Let's see. I'm just going to give him some slime mold for the... Uh, <laughs> for the dysentery. Real quick. Just real fast. And just give him some dysentery real quick. Uh, let's try to fix these. Vestal Grave Robber here. And then... Ba-boom. Ba-boom. Keep working on that, though. Gunsikins! Why you dysentery? I would never dysentery. That's the office linebacker, isn't it? 
I want to get laid the fuck out, dude. Moise. Also darkly curious. Huh. I wonder if bad digestion has anything to do with her getting dysentery. That would be pretty funny. I'd be a big fan of that. She's got the resolute there, yeah, so that's not gonna work. That's eh, good enough. Experience, however painful, is the greatest teacher of all. Oh, I don't need toe to toe. I don't know why I did that. Poison dart, play grenade, noxious blast. Maybe emboldening vapors. That could be fun with the speed token and the removal of the cooldown. Iron Swan with a combo is pretty nice. And then we could also do Mace Bash. I like that. All right, this applies weaken on target, I forgot. That might have been worth it. We'll do it next time. All right, let's do it. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. Yeah, I think we're ready. Let's go. Jeez, Raven, that's rough. Tried and tested. A bond to be counted on. Pretty significant buff there for Consecration of Fortitude, adding the Strength Token to the Hellion, and then the Wicked Hackle added Dodge Plus to Gimau. Nice. Resentment. The slowest and deadliest poison of them all. Thankfully, they are cursed skills that we already have equipped, so not too bad. Aspiration unites the hopeful. Mace Bash will add a stress heal, as will Battlefield Medicine. Wow, that's awesome. The pros definitely outweighing the cons this time. Tread carefully and quickly. This is swine country. Let's see if we can get everybody a disease. Dysentery for all. And you get dysentery. And you get dysentery. And you quit dysentery. He's a nice guy. Minus two. I stole it from chat, though. You can't minus two yourself. Stumbling and stupefied. <laughs> Is that the new Netflix method of characterization? I actually... Wow, I haven't watched Netflix in months. I canceled it to see if I still wanted it. Turns out I don't. I even have, like, reason to reactivate it now to try to watch the new John Mulaney special, but even that's not enough, man. Wait, you can cancel subscriptions? Uh, only on Netflix. It doesn't, it doesn't work on any other website. Don't try it. Don't try that. Also, change your transition, Bear. There you go. See that? Do you want to know why that happens, chat? You want the inside scoop? I'll tell you. I've got these transitions, these custom transitions. Look, it's so fancy. I'm in the den now. But it only works from the den, the TV transition, if I'm in the den and then go to something else. But then if I forget to switch it from the TV transition, I'm like mid-combat here and I try to do some quirky little scene transition to go to a full face scene, for example. And it looks like that. I look like a freaking moron. I look like I don't know what I'm doing. I look like a god dang amateur out here, man. So there you go. There's your inside scoop. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. A peek behind the curtain today. That's how the proverbial sausage gets made. Yes, indeed. But yeah, anyway. Larger point there being Twitch subscriptions are impossible to cancel, so... Sorry. 
Guess you're stuck with me. It's hard getting invested in any show these days since you never know if they'll last or not. That does seem to be, m like, more a Netflix, Netflix problem, though, in my experience. Like, Amazon series, I feel, don't get canceled nearly as much as that. I've got a couple series on Amazon, actually, that I am still looking forward to seeing. HBO feels like they typically do fairly well with that, too, right? Although, I don't know, really. I don't know too much about it. Oh, Inside Job. Yeah, that was bullshit. That show was funny. I remember that. Man, yeah, to, to, to cancel an adult animation series that had legs like that, that's just... That's just surface-level stupidity. HBO do be hating on their animation, though. Yeah, that is a bummer for sure. Animation's kind of... Going through the ringer right now, man. That's before even getting into, like, the AI conversation regarding that, too. Cooperation is the key. Simultaneously, there are some excellent animated shows being made right now. Yeah, I was going to mention Legend of Vox Machina. I haven't actually watched a lot of it, but I know that's a really high-quality show. I've seen, I've seen enough to know. The enemy weakens and wanes. That's good stuff. And then there's uh, there's Invincible on Amazon as well, which is outstanding. If you haven't seen that, I highly recommend it. The Fiend's strength dwindles. We had an animation remonstrance on our hands. That's a good word. Excellent work. And the and the network said absolutely not. Yeah. Yep. From what I heard, the thinking at executive levels is that season one and two are the only ones bringing in significant numbers of new subscribers, so they see anything season three plus as a loss. That's like. There's no way they're that short-sighted and stupid, but then again, maybe they are. I mean, what? What could easily be explained by stupidity, etc., etc., right? Like, good lord. It's, it's so uh, absurdly short-sighted. Can't see past the quarterly results, I know, yeah. That's... Steady subtraction. An invariable result. <laughs> this is advanced stupidity. See, the bits work better if I abandoned or See, now, now you know. It is ours now. Now and now you know. The loathing abates. Okay. Creature down complete. Those are impressive incisors. I'm not gonna lie. All right. Hit it. A simple choice. At least it should be. That's the one we're all at. Yeah, that's what I was trying to. That was that was when I said uh, attributed to stupidity, etc., etc., etc. I thought that was the quote, but yours yours seems more accurate. Execs have canceled or moved to ruins, so they could cancel the show solely because they personally didn't like it, or someone on that show hurt <laughs> their ego. True. That's happened a lot. That's a fun point, too, isn't it? Ooh, that's neat. This got changed. I think this had a totally different second effect previously. Plus 10% resolute chance. Add two positive tokens on resolute. That's just cute. That's just a cute trinket. I'm going to equip that. All right. So far, so sluice. There are rumors these rancorous beasts have some demonic spark of 
otherworldly intelligence. Feels like an I have nothing better at the moment trinket. Yeah, pretty much, but you know. Better than nothing, right? Keep working on the positives there. Yeah, let's just reopen all the wounds real quick for everybody. What's the one show that you're thinking of through the course of this whole conversation? A breakthrough. That you're like, God, why? Bring it back! It's like I know what a few of them are. I don't even have to don't even have to look. Firefly, I'm, I'm not I haven't seen chat yet. Firefly's in it at least three times, right? New a uh, new instantly. Freakazoid! Oh dude. I did not expect to see that, but that makes me very happy to see. The Grand Tour, really. They got canceled? As far as I know, those guys are all just like making their own shows now where they just do whatever the hell they want. I'm pretty sure, uh, I forget the main dude's name, Clarkson. I think he's got like a farming show now or something. Vader Zim, oh yeah, my goodness. I think May is doing like a show about cars Agony. now. By <laughs> Shocking. No, like specifically his cars, I think. The Naked Gun series. I thought those were just movies. Did they do a TV show? Hey Arnold. Oh my god, dude. I'm seeing some some great some great answers. That was a Naked Gun TV series, really. I, I bet that was good. Dude, Naked Gun video, or videos, oh my god. Uh, the Naked Gun movies are still pretty damn funny. Naked Gun movies were based on the Police Squad series. Only six episodes because the execs didn't get the jokes. Oh, man. This road cannot be walked alone. Yeah, Naked Gun videos is a much different thing. Throne Dagger. One less obstacle in our path. Hey, Jordan. Having trouble with chapter one in this game. Keep going to lairs and losing heroes. Lairs early on are uh, are a pretty big gamble. Especially if you're going through uh, chapter one, you don't actually have to get a trophy in order to uh, reach the end in chapter one. So you may, may want to reconsider Messy, but effective. whether or not the, uh, the difficulty of the lair is worth it this early on. Uh, honestly, I've been passing up on a lot of lairs too, personally. Just because without the uh, Altar of Hope unlocks. It's just a much more difficult task. I don't need a trophy for chapter one. Hold fast, for who knows what lurks in the beyond. Bonk. That was a That was a longer fight, but... End result looks pretty good for us. A steady subtraction, mm -hmm. an invariable result. OJ was pretty funny in Naked Gun. Hate to say it, dude. OJ's such a fucking. The loathing abates. It blows my mind, dude. Like, the guy is bragging about getting away with murder all the time <laughs> like he fucking he sends these tweets and stuff that are like this tongue-in-cheek reference to the con concept of him being related like he'll tweet about murder trials 
and then be like, oh, why is everybody tagging me in this? I couldn't, I couldn't possibly be related to this at all with this fucking book in the background or some shit. Man, this guy is actually gloating about murder. And the fact that he got away with it, it's ridiculous. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't have anything else to say about it. It just, it's, it's, it's insane to me. Uh, let's see. There we go. This is no time to falter. Joel is a good way to pivot out of that. I don't know why, but I'm going to go ahead and, uh, contribute. That seems right. Careful, he's right behind you. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's just a bear plush. It's just, a, it's just a bear plush. He'd never. Bear plush would never do me wrong, right? The bear, the bear plush would never. He, he, he'd never do anything to me, right? The bear plush would never. Okay, this is taking longer than I thought it would for the joke. He'd never do anything, right? Oh man, that, that zoom pace though. If only I could get a little further in. It would have been worth it. Can you guys just pretend it was better? Oh man, that, that was... That was a bit that was entirely worth this manual adjustment of three separate sliders for a solid minute, Bear. Oh, man. High-quality comedy. Bonk. A master stroke. Okay. That's pretty good. A calculated generosity. But a welcome one, nonetheless. Bear, why is that Bananasaurus Rex plush licking the bear plush's ass? Please, please answer me that single thing. It's gnawing at my mind. Well, Mr. Tanuki, it's because I did that, waiting for someone to mention it. It's been that way for months. Check the VODs. Basically since maybe December of last year, no one said anything until this moment. You're the first! Thank you! They're having a good time, that's all. Now you gotta change the positions and wait another five months. Right, I gotta do that offline, though. There's always gotta be a running bit underneath everything else, right? That's what keeps people coming back. An unexpected find. I'm walking back to my the PC and see a big bear face. Well, that's... Well, there's one of two things if I'm full screen. It's either I'm doing a terrible bit or I'm ranting about the societal acceptance of O.J. Simpson's double murder. It's one of the two. Always one of the two. Jesus Christ, Bear. Don't say that like I did it. Lower your guard. Soften your gaze. It is safe here. He's the one that wrote the fucking book. Experience, however painful, is the greatest teacher of all. Uh, do I want to look at that? I think I'd rather have Hand of Light, yeah. Those weakens will probably help out. Every road a winding torment. Every turn bent on our destruction. Oasis is nice. More creature dens. They're going to be a, a long run Each here. Improvement. A new variable in the equation of your fate. Not enough bobbles to repair the stagecoach. Oof. Spend what you can. Oof. For wealth no longer has meaning. Hmm. If indeed it ever did. Lots of relationship stuff again. Although I think I might need to buy food. Ah. 
Yeah, we didn't get any pancakes. Flapjacks. I don't know. I might... I might get greedy here. Let me check in on relationships real fast. I think it's worth it. I'm going to at least get the whiskey barrel on one songbook. And a second songbook. And playing cards. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. Who needs to eat when you got songs to sing, right? Oh, I did that in the wrong order, though. I was supposed to get him drunk and then have him sing. Whoopsie. Pretty good outcome there. Pretty good result. Okay. I think we're ready. Let's hit the shroud. Aspiration unites the hopeful. Iron Swan stress heal, noxious blast stress heal. Narrowed eyes, muttered threats. All trust is lost. A little sus. Propriety floats listless on the tide, brined in noxious degradation. So... Seems like I ought to probably go ahead and head to the right here to avoid the uh, instant loss of armor again. Oh, Neurosis. You did. Indeed, resubscribe. Thank you very much. Welcome back in. Seven months. Appreciate it. Bear hugs, please. Gotta go right. Well, fresh prediction as well, if you don't mind. That's better, I guess. Get a safe route up ahead here, too. And the watchtower, actually. Okay, if we get a shrine here... Almost certainly going to want to take that over the lair. This is nice. Waste no opportunity to thin their horde. Zombos. Hmm. Cursed Plague Grenade. Let's go for the Noxious Blast instead. Nice. Just got a creature den item with plus two mastery and it removes all disease for the whole party. Yeah, that's the one you want. If I could choose which reward I got every time, that'd be it by a mile. Malaise. Measured and steady. Alright. I haven't really been doing a lot of repartee so far. It's making me wonder if maybe I want to go for the uh, grave robbers. Hero Shrine a couple more times. Let's see if I can't get some other skills to utilize. Iron right, Swan Stress Heal. Very nice. That'll work. How'd that clear those? That's weird. Must have expired. That was only two rounds, though. Strange. Go. A deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. That'll work. Team's feeling a lot better all of a sudden. I think these relationship changes or uh, hits, I suppose, have been uh, making a pretty big difference here. Even in just the first fight. Big time stress healing. Dead of Night again. Nice. That's just a DD1 thing, Cookie. Okay. Right, it still creates a corpse dying to DOT and DD2. And sure. Getting all that Dead of Night value here. Noxious Blast keeps getting the heals. Hellion feeling good. Man. 
That went really freaking well. An opportunity squandered. Makes me a happy bear. Moving on. In crisis, no gains insignificant. Chat, what movie should I watch? Uh, Curly Sue. The loathing of Bates. Only because they brought it up in the episode of New Girl that my wife was watching yesterday, and she said it's an adorable movie. I don't know anything else about it, apart from that it came out in 1991, but only because I googled that just now. Who does Curly Sue star, Bear? Oh, great question. Stars Allison Porter as Curly Sue. Kelly Lynch, Jim Belushi, Steve Carell, John Getz. The value of such a view is matched only by its unsettling awfulness. What the heck? Do I like Curly Sue? An elementary problem, is it not? Assistance encounter, huh? Hmm. Back-to-back -back hero shrine over there, nice. I don't know if we can really handle the lair, to be honest with you. I think this team would have a rough go of it. Ah. We'll lose the wheels over here, too. Is that going to result in a repair fight? Possibly. The assistance encounter might give us some repairs, though. Not to mention, actually, it's a force repair fight if we go this way. Yeah, we definitely can't do that. Though decidedly inconvenient, at least we know what's coming. Sorry. Just having to force myself to make actual good choices. It's painful. I'm an almost exclusive YouTube watcher and don't know if I can watch the Leviathan body you in real time. I appreciate the honesty. That would have been a fast forward moment for you, huh? Oh, you poor simple fool bear. You knew the whole time, yet you couldn't avoid it. On to the next. I mean, that's just standard fare at this point, I feel like. Nice, Anubis. I was working for you. I feel like I'm a once every two weeks standing desk guy now, but it's nice every now and then. You got me wanting to do it immediately, actually. Then I'd have to manually adjust the camera again, and I'm pretty sure I only get one of those per day. Right, chat? Right? I'm only allowed to manually adjust the camera settings a single time per stream as a bit, as a goof, right? That's the only amount allowed. Okay, just checking, just making sure. Good. Do do do. They're optimal. Well done. Quick crit for the stress, you'll love it. Persistence will overcome even the greatest of threats. The rest have to be automated. I'm getting into that mentality, man. I told the story about how I'd spent hours with my brother trying to get a script to work that would rename all of the uh, titles for my uh, first DD2 series to add early access to them. And it's got my gears turning of like, oh man, there's like two or three other tedious tasks gloom, a spark. that I must continuously perform. Here's another one. Thumbnails. I'm always saving individual thumbnail images with the only change being the little number in the corner, right? You gotta be able to automate that somehow. I'm sure there's a way. And the fact that that is likely, in fact, is probably true. It's pretty exciting. 
Makes me want to try to learn that stuff. I know I could have always learned that stuff, but now I have, like, a super tutor to help me. Dirty hands feed the spirit and the belly. Why do it in an hour when you could spend six days automating? Exactly! Yeah, I know, obviously I had that, uh... Revelation well into the process, but I do feel like I spent... Like, I, the time that I spent learning slash struggling with that was he chatters in time well faith, spent. But his prices remain fixed. Felt like it was useful for me. I felt like I was learning stuff. Still in Chapter 3, Jax, yeah. Eh, I could pick up a whiskey bottle, I guess. The loathing whispers. After the six days, you don't have to do it again. That's true, yeah. Now I've got a script, should I need it, that can add the phrase early access to the end of any YouTube playlist. It's a very specific use case, obviously, but is actually most likely something I'm going to use again. Mind your wheels. They have nothing left to give. Yeah, that feels cool. Desperate to survive the rising tides, the fisher folk of the coastal provinces resorted to a debased worship of the sea. Hey, welcome, Cody. Savage photo bomber. Thanks for the prime bear hugs for him, please. We'll come on back and appreciate it. Chapter four. An envious vessel. The rich. Welcome back as well. Thank you very much. Quest two. To preserve her social standing, she would pilfer the rings from his fingers, the gold from his teeth. Oh, yeah, that's a great point, actually, Voltron. I can also just change the text to write anything else in the title, so yeah. A little more use than I thought. Nah, let's not move forward there. Okay, so this one's all about trying to get to the uh, coffins and find uh, the remains of our former lover. First, we must take a moment. Jackson. Get in the sub to Cody Voidwalker. Hop on into the pile as well. Appreciate that. Some bear gifts, some bear hugs. Welcome on in. Oh, shoot. Yo, and Carpe Omnius. Another five gifties. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you very much. I don't know if I had a choice there. Didn't feel like I did. Could I have passed turn? I might have been able to pass turn. Move forward. Bear, any tips on fighting the Leviathan? Move resist. If you can find any move resistance sources, whether that be from the in item or from a trinket, go for it. Because that undertow uh, skill can actually be resisted, and if you're able to resist it even once, Gives you a massive advantage for the remainder of the fight. Oh, I think I just lost. Oops. Yeah, I didn't realize. All right. Only That's when fair. We acknowledge the past can we be free from it. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. That's all right. We got another one right here. Attempt number two. Look ahead. A place to reflect. Remember. And reconcile. Boy, the stagecoach has seen better days here. That's not great. Man, this is basically a forced repair, isn't it? That's rough. All right, let's try this again. Chapter four. Filthy rich. No, not yet. I haven't actually seen the chapter four boss yet. You have to get through the focused fault. To preserve her social standing, she would pilfer the rings from his fingers, the gold from his teeth. You just get kind of screwed by this sometimes, don't you? All right. Uh. 
I guess I was supposed to move forward at the end of last round and then move forward and stress heal. I think that might be what I'm supposed to be doing. So we'll try that, I guess. There we go. There we go. Doo, 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 doo. Okay, now we move forward and then peek. And then we don't need to go for that one, obviously. Oh. Oh. Cool. Yeah, that's going to make it easier, isn't it? We just murder the dude. Let's freely look through the coffins now. We'll take a second. And now she's committed murder for jewelry. Yeah, that's uh, putting her up there in that irredeemable list, huh? Treasure acquired. Uh, we're good, right? Yeah, I think we're just getting out of here now. See ya. Peace out, homies. Take a moment. Apparently I'm not done. Sorry, it's been a minute. Been a minute since I've done this one. I think we have to just find the rest. Gotta loot them all. There we go. Oh, he's back, son of a bitch. Do do forward. Lord Xanus. The sub thing may be getting a little out of hand. Let's see how big this number can get. I like it. 93 months on the pile. Welcome back in. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, that's not going to work. She shouldn't get to the meltdown from this, though. And then we can move forward and stress heal again. Leave with the bear hugs, y'all. For the long-term subs, Xanus. Appreciate that a lot. Forward and then stress heal. Do, 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 do. Move forward again. Oh, I probably could have just done a pick to the face there too, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, certainly made this a lot longer than it needed to be. Take another swig from, from our absinthe for fun while we're at it. There we go. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. And there you are. With all that you owe me. She was awash in exhilaration. The glint in her eyes outshining the fistful of ill-gotten gains. Now that's pretty rude to include the word glint. When, when you know I wanted Glint in the dark for that. That frickin' shadow fade, man. All right. A simple choice. Hmm. At least it should be. It does feel like I gotta go Oasis here. A sanctum of tranquility awaits. Man. Rough situation. And a cue! She searches the dying world for the keys to her own salvation. This is timely, actually. We need a lot of money, so... Good to see. I am Swan. Yeah, let's get that early blight. Very happy to have upgraded that. Also very happy to see her use her worst skill. Yay! Taking a little pity on me, finally. Appreciate it, game. A couple of weakens there. That's nice. Stress heal there, too. Beautiful. Ooh, yeah. That's the stuff. One down. Beautiful crit. Big stack of the blight. Oh, just kidding. Get the strange sapper vulnerable off it, though. 
You got it, Carl. Valkyries. All right. Shouldn't be a problem. Excellent. Yeah, I've sort of abandoned the... Uh, the repartee idea, haven't I? Hasn't really been a big focus so far. A slow dissection. Nice. An unavoidable end. Yeah, this dude's dead to blight. Let's see if we can make the same here. The enemy weakens and wanes. Not too shabby. How did Bear manage to break his flagellant addiction by force? I just simply disallowed myself the option. Having said that, I am certain that I'll be bringing him back out in the next run. The smallest variable can make all the difference. Is this game easier than DD1? Uh, I wouldn't say that. It's different. Hey, Walter, so press your advance. Differently difficult. Still very challenging, though. Do, 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 do. Really need to get her self heal as well. Suppose that's another incentive to go for the uh, hero shrines for her. Oh, nice. Empowered, emboldened. Alexa DOT resist. She's nearly gone. Oh, that can go through stealth. That's kind of neat. Did not know that. Another quick little stress heal for the Hellion. See if I can get one for her, too. And yeah, no luck, okay. One last corpse clear. Whoa! Oh, that's her trinket, right. Oh my goodness, I can't believe until now I had not realized Ravager plus this is actually a pretty nice synergy. Anytime she resists the bleed from Ravager, she heals for 20%. That's awesome. And of course, if we can get the uh, hopeful trigger on her to get the additional DOT resist. A fortune in memories long forgotten. Whoa! Big find. Along with the relics and baubles we got with that. Plus four speed if you have more than 50 relics in the inventory, plus 10% crit chance if you have more than 50 bobbles. We're looking to stockpile now. Sadly, we are not meeting the threshold for either at the moment. And to be honest, I doubt that's going to change at any point through the course of this region, but that is still nice. Hey, speaking of nice, get the flapjacks, hell yeah. Hopefully the Vestal will choose to have a nice interaction with this. There we go. Although, sadly, not the stress heal, but we'll take the spring water. I think somebody wanted to use those for the hero goal. No, apparently not. Hospital. Yeah, gotta go hospital. We're gonna have to earn it, though, is the thing. Yet another repair battle. You have chosen wisely. We are going to be able to get rid of these diseases here, at least. Assuming we're able to make it through. They seek to strike while we are vulnerable. Hold them off. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, that whole thing about assumptions, right? Dark, dark, dark. Thank you for the three months. One for each dark. Thanks to the Prime. Welcome on back. Appreciate it. Plotting for the rend. Consecration, maybe. No, let's do Candlelight. Weaken on him is good, too. Oh, 
boy. Two stuns. Yeah, at least it's only one ordained. Could be worse. Once we get through this guy, it's going to get a lot easier. Yeah, let's give it to you, actually. That makes sense. Blinded? Missed one, I'll take it. Get the jinx on him, too. That seems right. Since we'll do with that to hopefully bring him to death's door and get the blight chill. We get a nice mace bash here. Ooh, damn! Sister of Battle came to play. Have you tried having good RNG? Just tell the stuns to stop politely but firmly. It's been working up to this point. I don't know what changed, man. I think I ran out. Yeah, I ran out of good RNG. You got any extra? Any good RNG to spare? I think we gotta do this, actually, despite the... Uh, Despite the curse. The unrelenting application of violence yields morbid gains. Left my good RNG in my other pants at home. Ah, shit. Now, see if I can find some lying around here. Is this good RNG? Oh, okay. I found a little bit. All problems have their solutions, even the big ones. I think I might have, might have borrowed your streamer build with the Bloodthirsty Leper with Cleansing Clasp and Breacher Jester yesterday. Oh my god, yeah, wow. That sounds like fun. Melohedron! I just hope these repairs will hold. Thanks for the Prime sub. Welcome on to the bear pile. Appreciate the bear hugs. That's right, we have spring water. And very little torchlight, apparently. We can suffer no sickness on this pilgrimage. I should probably get rid of that, yeah. Oh, God, right. Fragile, terrified. Probably fragile is worse. Good enough. Good enough. I have 20 torchlight. That's not great. I'm sure the ghouls didn't do us a lot of favors with that. Frenzy. Oh, and an instant blind here. Shucks. All right, pretty lucky. Nice. He's just dead as hell. Sick. The fiend's strength dwindles. All right, let's go with a nice big chop. Let's do this. Sure, I'm making friends that way. And a light. I'm very happy with these weakens, actually. Super helpful. But deadly all the same. No luck on the bleed resist. Let's see. I think I'll do that. May not be using the repartee a lot. Certainly getting a lot of value out of the Dead of Night, though. Good enough for me. Ooh, baby, we got that same In synergy. Crisis, we can rely only upon each other. She may yet get the heal from that. Line kicks in again. Beautiful. Nearly on death's door. Mace Bash will do it, probably. This went really smoothly. Now stay dead, achievement unlocked. Kill a hundred gaunt. That was fast. Alright, and then sure. 
God, this corpse is definitely one of the better ones. You're not the first person to say that today, Marigold. Shout out to the YouTube folks making the twi uh, Twitch transition. I see you. Appreciate it. Pyle does like to uh, snipe the new folks with gift subs, so. If you like gift subs, Heck, you know what? I'll, I'll hook you up. There you go. I'll set a precedent. Done deal. Oh, did you beat me to do? Son of a bitch, Jackson. I had a feeling as I saw the payment processing spinning around. All right, well, bear hugs for him then. In this world, wealth is worthless without purpose. It's not even... <laughs> I can't even figure it out. I'm, I'm in gift sub limbo now. I can't even get to the next one. Well, we got our flapjacks. And then some. The kind of community that races the streamer to gift a sub. Yeah, that's... We've cultivated a good group around here. It should work right that, or like that, right? Yeah. Simultaneous gift subs result in a tier two gift. I like it. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm doing the exact opposite of what we should be doing here too. I keep getting deterred to do the play grenade because of the curse, but I absolutely need to do it here. Otherwise, we're just going to get worshipped. That ain't going to be good. Although, I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's just going to taunt the hell out of us anyway here, so I might not have a choice. So let's at least get a little bit of, a little bit of blight back there. Maybe. I wasn't supposed to buy this until later this year, but I ended up on the Steam stream, and now I can't stop playing. <laughs> Sorry. Slash, you're welcome. Equal parts. Definitely, definitely need to do that, because otherwise all this is for naught, pretty much. Let's go ahead and burn self here, too. Why not get a pip for him? And I think that'll do it for Mr. Toots. Just notice the bagpipes are fused to his hand. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty upsetting, especially when you watch him, like, pump the thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. Ah, shucks, dude. All right, you can have it. A calculated generosity, but a welcome one nonetheless. Those damn taunts. Okay, hopefully this is still enough. I think so. Yeah, there we go. Good. We got it. And let's get her a quick heal for that taunt. Trust. Take a gamble on the blinded mace bash. Unfortunate. Have you unlocked a new combat item that strips worship tokens? Spoiler, but... Hmm. That's exciting. That'll be fun. Fuck. Is Flagellin still incredibly based? By which we mean, of course, that he desperately needs a buff, then yeah, absolutely. Wink, wink, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Oh. Ew. That'll help. Probably the play right, yeah. Just considering maybe another uh, stress heal there, but that's got to be it. 
Actually, I think I should do that, yeah. Yep. Glad I did it, but that is a meltdown, unfortunately. One resolute! Nope. Oof. Man, we've been having to fight an uphill battle on these relationships today. Not going great. Relief comes rarely in these times. All right, well, let's pop our last spring water, I guess. Get rid of the rest of that stress and call it good. And we'll have to do. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. Cruel intent it shows up again, unsurprisingly. Almost certainly not going to use that, though. Abates. Not a great idea here. So we have sadly forced ourselves to uh, fight the lair in the final region, but that is usually for the best anyway. See what kind of benefits we can get prior to that, though. Rest tonight under the mountain's unblinking gaze. Head in the sand for our grave robber. That's unfortunate. Ooh, Bounty Hunter does show up here, though. That's pretty convenient. That'll work. Everywhere in ruin. Everywhere in need. Definitely going to the feeder here. Let's get a fresh pick me going as well. If you'd like to be selected for our Bounty Hunter name, that's P-I-C-K-M-E in the chat. And while we are doing that... I'm going to take a quick break to refill my coffee, so back in just a second. You may recall yesterday when I had my my third coffee. I was going to say my second coffee, but my third coffee. And I told myself, Bear, tomorrow you's going to thank you for not drinking this right now. And sure enough, here's tomorrow me saying, thanks, thanks yesterday me for having the foresight. Right, back to it. Let's see where a bounty hunter is going to be today. Ralach joins the squad right after we the do next this. Stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. Fix up the stagecoach real quick. Get the provisioner here. Spend what you can. For wealth no longer has meaning. Double playing cards? If indeed it ever did. I guess. We already have flapjacks. So we don't need any food here. In fact, I can probably get rid of the slime mold now, huh? Yeah. Let's do this. That went pretty well. Nice. Okay, one more set of playing cards. 
experience, however painful, is the greatest teacher of all. Max Affinity, let's go. I think we leave the... Who is it, actually? With the Bounty Hunter being so limited, I think actually I'll leave the Vestal on the bench this time. A glint in the shadows. The hunter is here. He's just going to be a lot more effective up front, so... Oh, he has Eagle Eye, though. I wish we had his range stuff. That would have been nice. Give him the Bouncer's Belt, the extra bleed resist here, I guess. Let's give him Wolf's Blood, actually. A little more speed. All right. Time for Flapjacks. And I think we are good. What's next, I wonder? We could hack, I suppose. I haven't really been using Bleed Out. This does make it a lot better. Hey, Sperry. I guess I could try this, too. Maybe it'll... Well, if I'm going to do that... I should do these three. So we can clear the winded if I want to use it. Kind of want to give this to the uh, bounty hunter. Eh, I'm going to do it for fun. Cruel intent. Plus 66% crit chance. Let's do it. Off to the feeder. Crossing our fingers for a good relationship or two. I'll take it. The hopeful. We could hack stress heal, noxious blast stress heal. That'll do. We do need to get our trophy from this region, so we're hitting the harvest child no matter what. Even if he shows up immediately. The rancid croc grows on. Okay, I just I, I felt like if I did that, it would make sure that didn't happen. A simple choice. At least it should be. Ooh, Oblivion's ingress right away, though. All right. The loathing festers. We're definitely going to need to fight it, considering our loathing is already at half. I want to take a chance on that. Then again. Oh. No, we can ignore this. But they don't want to. All right. Yeah, Taunt no longer works on the eye stocks, so we got to change our approach. Once we get into that fight, figure out a... Figure out a better way to uh, get the uh, marks where we want to get them. Party mobility, it turns out, then, is going to be... A lot more important for the focused fault fight, which of course we don't really have a ton of that here, but. Maybe we'll consider that for next time. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, we got the lunge. We do have toe to toe, I guess, in combination with that, which is good. That's pretty much it, though. Measured and steady. Oh, that's a great point, actually, Soup. Stealth might help us to avoid several of the uh, marks. Should definitely try that. Oh, yeah, Shadow Fate as well. So, two of three, I guess, on the Grave Robber. That is still better than what I thought it was. Come on, buddy. Ah. All right, I'm immediately regretting that. That's still stress healed even on the miss, but I guess it makes sense. Wear optimal. So much for strategy then. Well, it's not that. It's that our strategy has to be adjusted. So much for our previous strategy, more like. Uh, let's go with that. There's 
death's door. Very nice. Dissection. An unavoidable end. Keep on shopping. This boy needs a little more. Ain't coming from that, though. Now they're blind. Let's probably go ahead and battlefield medicine that. Yeah, honestly. Even having just gotten that crit, I don't know. I feel like haste and carelessness. All marks of the unprepared. Cruel intent does sort of feel like it's just a leper trinket. A deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. Oh, sorry, Angel. The uh, alerts are totally off, actually, for the uh, tips slash donations. I just realized, but I do see that you uh, tip ten bucks. And thank you very much for that. Burning brightly for all the world to see. Someone in chat not too long ago was commenting on how the bandit's cannon moves, fires, and reloads on its own, and how unnatural it is. Here's something else to ponder. The carriage lacks a driver and reins, so what propels it? Hope? No, it's the bear rolls. We've been over this. This is. This... We've come to a logical conclusion the here. Whispers. The stagecoach is entirely powered by bear rolls. Bloody branch, you say? Gain on crit. 66% chance for a strength token. That's pretty damn good. Seems better. I guess I'd rather have burn resist here. Nah, probably the bleed. Well, the stagecoach is feeling super powered all of a sudden. Super speed! Mm -hmm. Hey, slow, bro. Welcome. The loathing festers. Well, guess I'm glad I didn't pass on the uh, ingress fight. Although I'm pretty sure, actually, prior to the lair, we don't have another one, so I guess we would have been okay. I'm poor. Can't afford shit here, dude. Which is an extra bummer because we've been. Waiting to be able to use that chalice since we got it. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna have to keep waiting, dude. The lost souls of a dying world. Empty of hope. And humanity. Ah! <laughs> Zombies! Go. The enemy weakens and wanes. Thumbnail properly farmed, yeah. That bodes well. Zoinks! <laughs> I still got that, yeah, it's still pretty good. I have to check in on my Scooby every now and then. In crisis. No gain is insignificant. Ah, uh, what are we doing here, right? Yeah, I gotta get rid of the slime mold. This thing, probably that. Yeah, no bread. I feel like I was just gonna switch something. Oh yeah, his trinkets. Let's do this and that. There we go. You got a good Shaggy voice excite? I, I love a good Shaggy. Makes my heart warm. No one can no one can do a good Fred. I don't think I've ever heard a good Fred. That's a unique one. What do you use to have the dead for such trinkets and baubles? Chapter 5. The After Party. Fred is too average. That's like a Nolan North kind of voice, man. Like, if you can do a good Fred, you're just... Armed you're making a killing in VO, clearly. To see the eviction. We're shocked to find the front doors listlessly ajar. The lavish carpets were lousy with dirt and leaves. A heap of heirlooms gleamed on the ballroom floor. Rings and brooches in a careless pile. 
The lady of the manor, however, was nowhere to be found. Frank Welker, right? Yeah, I thought I... I thought I knew that was him, because he's Shaggy, too, isn't he? And Scooby? No, he's he's Fred and Scooby. Right? In the original cast, I think. That sounds right. Here we go, dude. Casey Kasem is Shaggy. Casey Kasem is Fred. What? Now I'm all confused. It's basically every animal. Yeah, that's no that much. A rare opportunity. Let us advance unimpeded. Pretty sure Scooby is a dog. Okay, well, we'll clear that up at least. So he's definitely not a person named Frank Welker then. See, that's that's where my confusion was. All right. Let's do this, I guess. It's now or never, man. Banana. Shelby. 13 months, welcome back, thank you. The landowner's manor. Do you hear the child's cries? Hmm. I hear, I hear him chowing down. That's usually what I hear. Yeah, blight chance is good enough. Wicked heck. Alright, we've got our bounty hunter in proper form here to be able to actually deal damage. That should be helpful. Is Baby still the easiest boss by far? I wouldn't say by far, but yeah. Let's say pretty notably the easiest. I think the, the, your best chances of success come up against the Harvest Child, for sure. Although, having said that, the right team against the, uh, the General can actually make that fight pretty trivial. I'm thinking, like, Bounty Hunter, Runaway, Plague Doctor, Occultist. Something like that. You can clear the route so easily. It gets to the point where it's just a cakewalk. I poop on the general. That's also an effective approach. Probably gets you some results. I mean, just a cultist plague, Doctor. Yeah, you get you get some pretty good outcomes there for sure. Abyssal artillery and plague grenade spam all day. Oh man, yeah, add flagellant in the mix there. You don't even need the bounty hunter, dude. Actually, maybe just replace the runaway with a flagellant. And then you're walking all over him at that point. Oh, hey, it's Phil. This might be the first time we've seen Philip in 1.0. Let us take a closer look at the thing. As repulsive as it is. Good old Black Philip. Just repulsive. He's probably priority number one here. Wouldn't pooping on the general just fertilize him? Plus two. A promising development. All right, no more fill, no more. We hear that. This is going well. Super taunt with the uh, stealth activated. Love the combo. Not a lot of luck on the blight. I guess I prefer that 
stress target, too. Later on, X. A slow there you go. An unavoidable end. Got him on the timer. That's that's fine, too, I guess. There's a dodge. Beautiful. Yeah, let's go for this. I actually need a heal here. Head to the Blight next. Let's finally repartee, maybe, too. A frickin' time, dude. Hey, over here, you big dumb idiot! Hit the one with dodge! I bet that'll go great. This is no time to falter. Oh, shit. That's not good. Very happy we got the taunt up now. Die? Okay. And course clear. Set up the wicked heck. Ooh, the self heal, nice. But first, let me take a self heal. Boy, that's a fucking ancient reference now, isn't it? Whiskey barrel, worth it. Measure out your violence, and apply it judiciously. Later on with her. All right. It's going to take a lot of luck here, unfortunately, given that we're primarily Blight-based, but... Let's get started, I guess. Ounce is pretty damn good here, actually. Yeah, let's do that. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. Iron Swan for the combo is very nice. And then let's do... Let's do Caltrips. Yeah. Lowered speed actually might be pretty helpful here. Malaise. Measured and steady. Recycled the combo token as well. That's ideal. The double hunger, obviously not great. Oh man, the, the realization the last time we fought this boss that I could stun the chunks of meat. That is a game changer, dude. Sadly not with this team, obviously. Oh my god, that sucks. Yeah, I'm sure for future fights we'll be able to take advantage of that. Spring Duck! I love that Feed the Hunger is mastered for the Bounty Hunter. That's so funny. 99 months for Spring Duck. Welcome on back. You know, a whole bunch of bear hugs, please. Nearly another member of the 100 month club. Glad to have you back. Emboldened. Gotta go for that. Boy, that has been unlucky so far. Okay. Good resistance on the bounty hunter. That's nice. And a blind miss. Okay. We'll take that. Not quite there on Absinthe. That's a really nice crit. That's pretty outstanding. I think I gotta go ahead and do this too. Yeah, we really just need to go for every blight we can. That's unfortunate. Hellion in the back, clearly not great either. Okay. And we get the Maws, so the Grave Robber might have to survive a bleed here. This could be bad. I think the Mark is the way to go. I do actually get Turn Order that allows for the Grave Robber to avoid the Hunger, which is nice. Oh, wow, and the plague... Uh, oh, god damn it. Okay, we get that. Survive that, at least, and then we just have this one. And now, the greatest test of all. That is Death's Door for the Bounty Hunter, but obviously I'd much rather... Dragged back from the brink. Help out the Grave Robber here. Oh, my god, the immobilizers. Jesus. That's unfortunate. And that's gonna more than likely... Turn into another Maz on the Grave Robber next turn, although I get... Oh, fucking hell. This has been... 
pretty bad. Oh, God, there's another death door. Wow, huge one blind. Okay, good, good, good. Good resistance there as well. The there goes Bounty life. Hunter. A sudden death. Who knows what this one leaves behind? Rip. Okay, well. Jinx combo is good. Pretty sure I gotta do that. They add to the doubters. Oh, I didn't equip my other skills. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, I should have done that. No blight. Although I guess I shouldn't have expected it. Teetering on that terrible precipice. Oh, goodness. This is going to be another Maz. Thankfully, it shouldn't be too bad of one. We'll have Iron Swan next round. Hopefully, the Plague Doctor doesn't act first. Sweat soaked brows. Unsteady stances. Exhaustion takes hold. This is pretty much it to avoid the Plague Doctor death. Siren Swan kills it. Come on. There we go. Whew. Okay. Goodness. For every miscalculation, a consequence. Pretty big one this time. Gonna be tough. The loathing abates. To get through the remainder here. We do get the corrupting cleaver for our plague doctor. That's pretty nice. Get her that additional blight piercing and then I'll go ahead and give her the wolf's blood as well. It's not a huge cost for that. Although actually, oh yeah, of course, kitchen knives. That's gotta be the play for her. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I thought that was galvanizing goblet. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Don't need the apples and cheese anymore. We got a lot of candles. That's nice. Okay. Hospital for sure. Second hospital. All right, well. If you hope to heal, you have chosen wisely. We do have a fully intact stagecoach here, thankfully. Which may afford us the opportunity to avoid some extra fights. But, uh, yeah, things are looking rough still. Even the worst habits can be overcome. Finally get rid of head in the sand. I might want to get rid of terrified as well, actually. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Don't need that. I don't actually need these extra flapjacks either. And then... I guess we gotta go straight. Try to avoid the barricade, and then we can afford that rift. All right. Our once familiar kingdom, a stranger to itself. That's uh, another rift. The thrill to the succulent flavor that grows up from some nightmare pit far beneath the earth. That's gonna be pretty much forcing us to go left. Oh boy. Uh, Jag, I believe the Origin skins are not available yet. I think those are going to be part of a later update. Sharpness Charm, let's go. We'll take these, get rid of this. Plus 20% damage on the Hellion, obviously. Pretty fantastic. I think... Yeah, we should probably keep that on her for now. I guess we get rid of this now, don't we? And that, and that. And that, and this, and this, and that. There we go. Okay. 
Back to inventory management. Yeah, we missed it, huh? Thank goodness. I can probably get rid of this, too. The loathing howls. It sure does, doesn't it? It do be doing that. Oh, boy, in the darkness. This is concerning. Yeah, nothing new in there. See ya. I guess we go left. Must be. Bear, can you hover over the loathing to see the debuffs? Sure. So at level 3 loathing, that's an additional 50% flame drain and an additional 33% enemy advantage chance. Also at 13 torch light at the moment, which is clearly concerning. I just have to fight this, but I don't think we can. I really don't think we can do it, man. We're going to have to pray. Brace up. There is danger on that that's path. not a rift. Thank God. And that we can make it to the end of this section to get to that assistance encounter and get some torchlight. Desperate. They need your help. And so far, so good. Shit. Oh no, I'm doomed. Yep. We're fricked. We'll do our best, but this does not bode well, especially because I yet again forgot to equip her new skills, so that's not gonna help. Sure, wet would have been really nice here, but oh well. Gotta use every advantage we can, obviously. They will target her regardless. So I think actually we just go ahead and absent the second time for the uh, for the dodge. And then she'll toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but oh, that's not going to move her forward this time, right? So we do have to do this, I guess. Is that going to clear a block? No, apparently not. All right. Nice crit. Hey, welcome, Leafy. All right, yeah, hopefully the Jinx can help us out here. And obviously got to prioritize these two early on. Let's get the bandage. There we go. That'll actually be... Oh, I really should save those, actually. Yeah, those are going to be a lot more useful later. Yikes, come on. We need a couple of those to go our way, man. I'm just going to use my third Absinthe here. Fuck it. I doubt I'm going to get an actual heal out of it. All about the dodge. Does get the worship off, but it doesn't really matter that much. All right, get our toe to toe. On top up front, not that they really gonna matter again. Uh, bandage there is good. The small foundation of trust. I'll take the crit heal. Try to get a blight started on her. I'm beginning to have hope. We might be okay here. Anxiety forms insidious fears. She's got to die to the blight. We got to get lucky through this dodge, probably. Okay. Opportunity. That's the fucking opposite. The opposite outcome: getting a bleed on her instead of a blight on her. No, thank you. I still have battlefield medicine as well. Does land the blight. Gets the blight kill. Okay. Blinded? Nice. Jinx combo. Trammeled, trapped, held captive by fear. Hmm. Go for it. Okay. It's worth it to try to get her down to death's door there. 
That heal doesn't really matter. Another dodge. Nice. Got a combo off that. Try for it. Beautiful. And then that'll work. Didn't even think about that. Gotta get that heal, obviously. This wound at least has been tended to. Okay. A wash in turmoil. We have another battlefield medicine. We're fine. Totally okay there. Repartee is not bad either. Come on, Blight. Beautiful. Oh, God. That sucks. Okay. Um, I guess you can do this. This is terrible. That was a really awful shuffle. This this is nightmare shit. Oh, no. That's probably just going to have to be a pass heal. Oh, no, wait. She's not going to go to death's, uh, to death's door yet from that. That's good. I really feel like we got to do this. I also feel like I have to do this, even though... No, I don't think that's the play. I think I just move her forward and then toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Or I guess if she acts first, then we'll just do a pass heal and then get a meltdown. Yay! 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 <laughs> All right! That's phenomenal! That'll change things a little bit! Wow, yeah, that was... That was an enormous resolute roll. I think that just saved the squad. Ladies night. It's here to stay. The enemy weakens and wanes. Fan freaking tastic, dude. That's awesome. What a finish. Well done. Well done indeed. Well done indeed. Torchlight restored. Sweet reprieve. Until the next test is put before you. Wonderful. Well, it might just be back-to-back -back tears here, but we've done our best. We've done all we can do. Take the one armor here as well, just in case. Clearly a uh, clearly a repair fight would not be ideal. And yeah, good call here. Thank you. Let's get that pirouette and the glint in the dark equipped, probably. Nice. Okay, it was indeed the uh, hazard, so that was a really convenient stagecoach repair. To its last. That would have sucked. Speaking of things that suck... Here comes a three-man exemplar fight. Oh, boy. of human outline it must be destroyed do you have genuine belief chat because i'm gonna need to see a bear hero in there if you do gonna need to see one of these pronto maybe even some bear colt while you're at it i think we got this look at all those bear heroes can't possibly fail. Except if the blight doesn't work. That might... That might be an issue. Alright, probably gonna get a lot more taunt up on the Hellion this time. And 
gonna have to be our actual tank here. Still all about that blight, dude. And the pristine lore, of course, yeah, that's gonna possibly cause some complications. He's gonna go for the sacrifice now, I believe. There we go. Gotta get one more blight to outpace the heal here. Let's go for a wicked hack. Hmm. Maybe a bleed out into a toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I kinda like that. I always bleed resist is sky high though. Never mind. Excellent work. Let's take a crit. That's pretty good. Crit into a strength token, yeah. Not bad. Can't heal the blight yet, so we'll do this. Totally worth. Absolutely worth. That's not great. Let's get her stealthed here. That seems smart. Our lone opportunity to corpse clear for that. Okay. Fun, fun. That is a nice bear optimal, at least. This could hit for 60. 40 is good, too. That's not bad. That's a Kaza. The full year. Welcome back with the Prime sub. Thank you very much. Appreciate the resubscription. God damn, Hellion. Okay. Keeping that hope alive. But deadly all the same. No longer have repartee, of course, but. We just gotta go all, all in on the blight anyway, probably. Pretty much forcing my hand on the heel. Alright. Oh, God damn you. Why you gotta be like that? Oh my goodness, she's weakened. Bleed resist still way too high. Oh, shit. Gotta go for it. Come on, pull off the miracle. Come on. This is no time to pull Stay back. alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. No! Fuck. We still have a chance. There's still the tiniest glimmer of hope. He is gonna do a sacrifice, isn't he? He's gotta get through the regen still. Oh again, God! Come on. Okay, no DOT though. That's huge. Precipice. She got the, TO, the DOT resistance, so that means we gotta. Yeah, no, go into the dark here. But that. Oh, the blight. The blight could kill him, dude. But I gotta absent. <sighs> gotta absent there. Is this the bleed out? I think this is the bleed out because it's gonna get him to death's door no matter what, and there's a small chance for the bleed. Unfortunate. Okay. is still on death's door. We get one Switch chance so if we get close. first action. Unsteady stances. Exhaustion takes hold. We have glint in the dark. An additional 20% death's door resistance piercing. Not that time. We could hack. Similar odds. I think we go the bleed out again, actually, for the small chance of the bleed. Let's go! Goodness! Wow! In life or Woo. in death, we are all prisoners here. By the hair on my chinny chin chin, I have managed to escape. Holy shit! Always had faith. Always Holy believed. Besters. What a finish! Okay. Let's see here. I got a lot of garbage to dump. Wounding words is pretty tempting, I'm not gonna lie. F it. Let's do it. She doesn't need HP. Say goodbye to that. Don't need the second stack of those. Don't need this. Probably don't need that. And then let's get rid of one single candle. Good stuff. Holy hell. Yeah, that couldn't be much closer. 
Whew. Oh, hold on. There we go. Who's it going to be, y'all? Who's, who's going to be our uh, replacement? Of course, we've got the Vestal still waiting in the wings, but we're getting a brand new face. Speaking of which, it's time for a uh, fresh pick me. Find out who that's going to be. Oh, man, the flagellant. That would certainly be welcome. That would be nice. The place is a little worse for wear. I don't mind that either. But familiar nonetheless. I don't mind a leper one bit, dude. Please and thank you. Let's get nice and toasty with him. Everybody loves the leper all of a sudden. How easy is that? All right. Let's give him the bobbles. Wow, that's actually outstanding for him. And the pristine lore. Okay, he's all set. Cool. The inevitable end of your journey awaits you once again. Mountain Ho. Conventional fare, but fairly priced. Second whiskey barrel? I mean, this is a pretty good idea. Could go for a second whiskey barrel. Sure. Sure. Beautiful, dude. Mmm. Love to see it. You unfortunately get one negative chance. Pretty high chance at that. Oof. Probably gonna want to fix that. Got a pipe weed or something for that one? Nope. Too short on the whiskey flask. Oof. Planning and mindfulness. As vital to survival as sharpened steel. We're not going to get any more bobbles, are we? The plating is patched. The coach stands ready once more. I don't think we're going to be able to use the chalice. The roads are rife with peril. A little protection is always welcome. Oh, we definitely want to fix for the uh, block token. Yeah, I definitely want that. Um... Well, without the Plague Doctor, I guess the kitchen knives aren't doing us that much good anymore, are they? Listen. Practice. Improve. You even get to master this dude. Yeah, I like withstand. And then, let's see. Maybe Consecration? Judgment wouldn't be bad, although that's eh, unlikely to get a lot of use. Yeah, I guess Grave Robber could still use this, huh? I like the wounding words on her, though. I think I'm going to roll, roll with that. Especially with a proper tank in the form of the leper here. So... Solemnity looks good. You know what? I, I, I wouldn't mind reflection either, actually, yeah. I mean, obviously, we're going to have an equip, so we might as well get the better version of it. Cool. Not a lot of stress healing here, unfortunately. If only we could afford the incense. If only I hadn't dumped the incense. I think we are good to go. Let's use the last of our in items here. Give them the strength. Yeah, probably get a couple laudanum. them. Seems like the best use of our remaining six relics. Gunsikins shall be our replacement leper. How do I spell that? There we go. Oh, he's a shroud explorer. Not that really matter much at all. Okay, let's do it. Not a lot of combat items this time, unfortunately, but. Uh, it could be worse. I mean, we've we've somehow succeeded in worse circumstances, so who knows? Maybe we'll manage. I'm going to do one double check here on everything. Pretty sure we're good, yeah. All right. Obviously, got to rearrange this party order a little here, but 
Oh, you know what? Actually, yeah, the Vestal is probably going to be in the third rank, isn't she? Might have wanted to upgrade Judgment after all. Zero relationships. Yikes. That seems like that was pretty unlikely. We had some good relationships there, but... Oh, well. No bad relationships, I guess. Yeah, that's nice. Could be worse. At last, the Great Ziggurat. Temple of failure and regret. Oh, what happened? The, the stagecoach stopped. Oh, there's no bear rolls in chat. That's why. Gotta get the... I gotta get the bear rolls coming, and then we can then we can get the stagecoach going. There we go. There you go. There you go. You got it. Do do do. Do I do lunge here? I suppose so. If we're going with the pirouette too. Eh, I don't know. I kind of like glint. Let's get rid of absinthe for a turn or two here. See how that goes. Ooh, nice. Strength and block. Make sure you bet your bare bucks as well. I think we're going to make it today. I, I don't know, man. This is... I have not felt confident from the beginning of this run, unfortunately. Ever since we fought that very first creature den that took like 13 rounds, I've been... I've been a little sketchy on this one. Strength dwindles. Certainly gonna do my very freaking best, though. Really gonna try to uh, get some stress healing done on the grave robber, at least. Because I really don't want him melting down right away. You mean ever since you didn't pick the flagellant bear? Yeah, basically. Pretty much. Might as well. Oh, we should. She needs to be in the front rank. Yeah, she needs. She needs to be rank one. Her iron swan and bleed out. All right, with stand time. Gonna do your ding dang darndest. Gonna give it the old college try. As it were. Bonk. Flagellant that OP right now. Every run we've had with him has felt like the odds were in our favor, so. I'm liking him a lot at the moment. The enemy weakens and wanes. Certainly seems strong. Malaise. Measured and steady. That is air freaking optimal again, pardon me. Hmm. Eh, I guess chop. Got all his unlocks, yeah, so we got his full kit now for the flagellant. Definitely prioritize that. Oh, that's not... Okay, I was going to say that's not second worship, thankfully. We'll go for a solemnity here just to get rid of that quick stress. So, so clear the wind, did. Didn't it used to be snowing at this point all over the screen? It did, didn't it? I wonder if that's, like, confession-specific or maybe if it's just, like, a random chance thing. Yeah, that's weird. All right, well... Shit, maybe I should just have the meltdown. At this point, it definitely seems like the better idea. She might go resolute again. Okay. You say so. She's just a badass, dude. She, she's just... Crushing it. Go off, queen. What was that thing we were talking about with RNG before, right? Yeah. Guess we're not out after all. 
Built different, dude, yeah. Bear roll. Oh, that's weird, Taco. Haven't heard anything about that kind of issue. May want to submit a bug report or something. Duck draw. I give it the three months. Welcome back. Yeah, no, no need for the chalice, I guess. Just trying to decide if we got the actual best trinkets equipped here. I'm pretty sure we do. All right. The fact she has no positive modifiers is insane. I know, it's just flat luck. Straight up streamer luck, dude. The fiend's strength dwindles. Ew, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Hmm. I kind of like this here, actually. She is still very vulnerable with the wounding words equipped especially before we've gotten a taunt up okay hello ah very glad i equipped pirouette otherwise this is a fucking problem goodness dude oh that created a nightmare scenario immediately. And that disharmony is unfortunate, too. I was really hoping to get a pirouette on that guy. This is good, though. It's a very nice hand of light. And then... Actually, I think I'm just gonna do this. No, I gotta get her out of there. Absolutely gotta get her out of there. And then I gotta move the leper up. Or I could withstand here, actually. Yeah, that's not bad. Pretty good. Day is actually really convenient. That would have been problematic otherwise. If we can create a corpse for her, though, I think we'll be okay. Toe to toe on you. Shit. Very good dodge. Wow, that is extremely convenient. Iron Swan available. Ooh, this is this is a giant mace bash. That's tempting. Pretty sure I still do this though. A breakthrough. Yeah, the weaken on him is really helpful. Move it up. All right, no corpse here. I think I just got to pass heal, which is going to be obviously a meltdown, but I think it's worth it. What is it then that gazes back so intently from the abyss? All right, all right. Thanatophobic, definitely not the worst negative quirk to get from that, so. That'll do. Pops the inversion. Okay. Nice heal for the grave robber. She is definitely still going to need to make a corpse here. Seems smart. Ah, oh boy, that shuffle absolutely screwed us over. That is so unfortunate. I think I just got a stress heal to avoid a meltdown, man. All right, all right, and then... Taunt, I suppose? Somehow hit that through the dodge plus and blind. Cannot heal. God damn it. And oh man, um, I guess this is good. We have to get one death store roll, so. Might as well accept that and pray death that she doesn't for die. The rich and poor alike. All right, GG. That's disappointing. Yeah, that, that shuffle, I, again, I, I don't want to undersell how much that screwed us. That was by itself pretty much the death knell. 
just in time, Raiders. Welcome. Yeah, that was inevitable, wasn't it? Let's keep doing our best here, but... Obviously, pretty pitiful odds at this point. Man, she has really got to find some sort of self-heal skill. Adrenaline rush or raucous revelry. She is in trouble without it. I think Divine Grace is on... Or, there we go, okay. God, is that even worth it? Nope. Anxiety forms insidious fears. This feels like an exercise in futility. I want to at least give us a chance. In the boss fight. Maybe we'll just go resolute across the board somehow. You get a few more candles for just making it to the boss. Well, that's worth it then. That seems worthwhile. Yeah, no worries, Nate. Thanks for the raid, though. Agony by accumulation. It happens. Pass heal? Pass heal? Pass heal? Not that time. All right. All in. All in. There we go. He shouldn't have gotten this far anyway is honestly a great point. This should have been over a long ass time ago. We'll take the the uh, Pyrrhic victory here, I guess. I'll also take the barrel rolls. Happy to see those too. All right, so be it. We'll see how the three-man team fares up against the focus fault. The Collegianus Cathedral. Imagine though. Malign Temple of the Iron Crown. Just just imagine, if you will, the the magic of this victory. I mean, I, I can't even say the words, I know. But let's just pretend. So the taunt here basically no longer matters. We really just need to manipulate party position, I suppose, in order to uh, attempt to make this work, but this is not a great start for that. Oh, I probably should have put her up front anyway. I didn't even think about it. Yeah, I don't know who the fourth is going to target now. I guess it just passed. Yeah, I think it was just straight up passed turn, didn't it? That's weird. We'll I'll see how that fares, I guess. Oh, I thought that was going to be a meltdown. Steady yourself. H opting to slow it down are the eyeballs. If you say so. Yeah, no, please, by all means, stretch this out. I don't know, man. Shit. Toe to toe, I guess. Judgment couldn't even get through the or get through the third one. Quick little meltdown for Gamow. There you go. It's just a stress heal. Reflection. I think you need to move the fourth eye so we can target someone. Oh, yeah, the boss can't even spawn, huh? Yeah, that's weird. Huh. That's... Yeah, I, I, I don't know if I can actually make it target anything. There must be some... Yeah, there's got to be some sort of failsafe here. I imagine they've anticipated this. Let's kill it. See if maybe that does something. Greatest test of all. 
It feels like that's probably something that they considered, but we'll see, I guess. No heal. I do kind of want to try to clear that mark still anyway, so. Haste and carelessness. Speed. All marks of the unprepared. All right, so this is kind of awkward. She thought a glorious end and found it. Yeah, I guess uh, you can't even get the boss to transform this way. That's a shame. All right, well, I think we probably just go ahead and call it good then. Darkness encroaches. Yeah. Inexorable. Unfortunate, but... Yeah, that doesn't seem intentional. That seems like it might have been an oversight. I mean, you can't really blame them. Who but my dumbass is actually progressing all the way through to the final fight with only three people. Pretending they have some sort of chance. Can't really expect them to cover every single base that way, you know? Yeah, I suppose I should still do a bug report. That's a good idea. Go with grace into the great beyond. Yeah, I'll report it here real quick. Her convictions lent some small comfort in her final moments. Oh, well. Do not despair. There is nobility in the attempt. Oh, we'll, uh, we'll go spend our candles real quick and then we'll submit that bug report. Still a pretty nice haul there. Still 73 candles, man. Forward now into oblivion's inky embrace. See what we can get. Wisdom will help you choose a path. Resourcefulness will ensure you survive it. I was going to check and make sure there's not another charity unlock up here. I'm going to get it. I'm gonna get another pet. A welcome reprieve from the rigors of academia. The salted air and steady surf lulled us into a deep, restorative sleep. And one more. It cannot fight, but perhaps it can calm. Sweet. Hearts and minds will carry the day. Let's get some more trinkets. Reticent at first, the farmers grew to appreciate our interest in their lifestyle and their lands. Hey, Bear, I want to see your first experiences with the flagellant. Is there a way to see it? Bear, what do you think of the flagellant so far? That would be episode two, I believe, which just went up on YouTube this morning. That was my first experience with the flagellant. I love it. Both in design and in gameplay, I think it is phenomenal. New Unforgettable Trinket, which is really nice since we've been getting basically all the cruel intent we can handle. I'll take that. A drop of sanity in a sea of madness. And let's get one more trinket, again, considering the uh, likelihood of filling up our inventory with these here. Every twinkling recollection all right. is another implement at our disposal. Pretty good, pretty good. Combat items. New instruments will help us diagnose the world's affliction and overcome it. Stimulants, nice. Great unlock there. And the healing salve, huge. Survival. Two back-to-back -back enormous combat item unlocks. Complete the powders, not bad, not bad. Okay actually great for the uh, flagellant, speaking of which. That's a real fun one for him. Ah, combat item cost got up to two now. Okay. Let's head over to the living city again. 
I kind of want to go for another path, but I feel like it's pretty expensive. Eh, it's only eight per. Let's get the uh, let's get the alchemist. We would often take our afternoon tea at the quaint cafe a few blocks from the library. Ooh, warlock is very good as well. Could also get more flagellant stuff. Scourge. He gets all kinds of death door resistance. I love it. Pain box. It's just a straight up. Just right out of Dune, huh? Just lifted out of Dune, inserted into DD2. Right on, right on. Um, I think I, I think I want to do this actually. Yeah. Let's make more flagellant progress. A little more light, a little more strength. And then, perhaps, one more path? I think I'll go for the... Spare a thought for tools of iron. Big pig. Such implements will serve us well. Thank you! Yeah, I think I'll just unlock Big Pig real quick, if that's all right with everybody. Collector chandelier, fun. Okay, okay. And probably Wisdom go ahead and just do this. Choose a path. Resourcefulness will ensure you survive it. Speaking of resourcefulness, I should probably go ahead and contribute here too. Cool. All right, well there we go. Well that'll wrap this episode up. Once more into the maelstrom in search of what hope yet remains. And if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it as well. Appreciate that a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay.